Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Vipadam. And in our previous video, we have seen how, uh, we have seen the introduction to object detection machine learning model. And in this object detection machine learning model, we have seen how can we enable UiPath AI fabric and then how can we deploy this model on AI fabric and create ML skill for it. Now in this video, we are going to get started with the development using this object detection in UiPath Studio. So before we get started, let's create one project. So let's navigate to UiPath Studio, click on process, and let's say we're going to go ahead and create a object detection. Or you can say person counter, you know, person counter. Now this bot is using object detection machine learning model. Let's go ahead and let's start creating it. I've clicked on create, open new, open new workflow. The very first thing we need is a flowchart. So let's drag in a flowchart in between right here. Perfect. And now in order to use ML skill, first of all, you have to make sure that your orchestrator is connected with your laptop. If you want to uh, watch the video, how you can connect your orchestrator with your local machine, you can find it on my YouTube channel. I'll also try to make it, uh, you know, post it in the description. Now, once you connect your orchestrator with the machine, you need to go ahead and create, uh, I mean, download a package, which is ML. You just type in, in the official type ML and you'll see uipath.mlservices.activities. Just download this one, click on save and here we have the activity package. Now let's type here ML. And once you type ML, you will get the ML skill. That's it. Now you might have already seen, so let me just disconnect this one. Let's take it here and let's connect it right here. Okay, perfect. So you might have already seen, we have already trained. Once you have trained the ML skill and you have connected your local machine with the orchestrator, you will get the object detection model right here. Click on this one and you will see the input type is a file and output type is a JSON. So let's click on test skill. So you can actually test the ML skill in your UiPath Studio before using it in workflow. So click on test skill and it needs an input. Now you might be wondering how I created this thumbnail, uh, which is on this video, which is my own photograph, right? So let's look at how can we use that image uh, to get what exactly all the you know uh, parameters and predicted class categories in this particular image. Okay, so this is my image. Let's go ahead and let's copy the path of this image. I'm just going to click on shift, right click, and say copy as path. Come back here in UiPath Studio. Paste the path without double quotation. I mean, it's not a uh, it's a string, but you don't need to enter double quotation here. So paste the entire path of the your of your image. Now this is my image. Check the image again. It's uh, it's me, my laptop, my cup, my you know. Um, let's see what is that? Another laptop. So let's so let's see. So let's let me just crop this guy. I don't want my phone or my book to come here. And I'm going to just save this one. So I'm saving this one. <clears throat> just save. Now let's go ahead and let's try to test the skill. So let's see what object detection gives as output in JSON file and how can we bifurcate that data? How can we extract the byte array? How can we convert that byte array into image? And how can we identify the predicted class? Okay, so we have our output and in the output, as you can see, let's catch this output and let's put it in some JSON parser. So let's, let me just control A, control C, Go back to Chrome and on Chrome, I'm just going to go ahead and open the JSON parser online. And here you can enter the JSON data. So JSON parser.online is what I use uh, for just checking the data. Uh, as I have entered the entire string, you can see here predicted class is one of the entity of the JSON and another entity is predicted byte array. So predicted byte array is basically your image in bytecode format, which is also called as base64. Uh, and predicted class gives you all information about what are the things that are detected in this particular image. So let's again go back and look at the image. So this is the image. So what are things you can see? 
So you can see there's one laptop. You can see there's another laptop. You can see my router. However, that is not clearly visible. So I can skip that. You can see my miniature bike model, but that is also not possible, I know. So you, you can't see book clearly is because it's cropped. You can see the cup and you can see me. So for me, it will be detecting as a person. The laptop, two laptops should be detected as laptop and the cup should be detected as cup. I don't expect it to detect the chair is because it's not merely visible. And it I don't even expect it to detect table is because it's not sure whether it's table or not, but uh, it's visible though. However, for not for robot I because robot detects table in a different way. So let's skip this part and let's try to check what answer could be. So let's go here and check the predicted class. So it has identified one person. It has identified, which is me. And the score of the accuracy you can see here is one, which is 100% accurate. So it is very confident as you can see, because it's trained on COCO data, which is really high level data. Uh, you can check the class that is also cup. So it has recognized cup with 100% accuracy. It has also recognized laptop with 100% accuracy. It has recognized another laptop with again, 100% accuracy. That means almost all the things that is, it has identified is with 100% accuracy. And this is how wonderful and superior this particular ML model is. And that's why I'm, I'm literally you know, fascinated with this new model. Now let's look at how can we convert this predicted byte array? Uh, so in UiPath, how can we do it? We'll see that in the next video, but let's check what this exact byte array is. So if you can go on Google and just type, you know, uh, if you type byte array, you know, let me see, byte array to image online, that's it. And you get some online, you know, links. I'm selecting the very first one, which I see. So I enter here the byte array. So the byte array, let's copy entirely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one from here till the end. Oh, how do I copy it till the end? Yeah. And let's copy this one and paste it here and generate image. So this is some online parser, which converts your base 64 image to your base 64 byte array to image. So let's click on generate image. And as you can see here, image is generated where it shows this is a person. It's, it's clear, it's blur a little bit. However, you can see it says person with 100% accuracy, you know, one. It says, uh, you know, laptop with accuracy of one, cup with accuracy of one, and again, laptop with accuracy of one. This is how, how wonderful this model is. You can see, you can clearly see everything which is defined, right? Now, we need to get this data, this byte array and convert it into image because UiPath is not going to, I mean, this uh, ML model is not going to return us any image. It's just going to return us the byte array and we need to convert it into image. Also, we need to uh, get this entire data, which is within the predicted class, which is sort of like an array of dictionary variable type data. So we need to get that data also. And we need to segregate that data and get only the class out of it. Now, what our use case is about, our use case is about identifying number of people in a specific image. And for that, I have a couple of sample images as you can see on screen. So I have a very cute family. I have a single person. I have small family. I have a team, you know, maybe a football team. Um, uh, uh, I team, uh, so a couple of photos, right? We can see whether it identifies correct number of uh, number of you know people within this particular image. So let's try to give it a challenge to ourselves and let's try to complete it. So I'll see you in the next video where we will start the development. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy automation. Click on the next video and you will find this entire series in uh, in my channel. So go to my channel. You can see the entire series called as. Uh, I have just simply created the series where I'll be continuously uploading these things. So you can go to playlist and you can see in the playlist object detection using UiPath AI fabric. Also, there are a couple of very nice projects which I've already built. You can also check those. Thank you so much for watching my video and happy automation.